Okay, so 7.4 is a bit of a long chapter. So understand that this is, I may cut this into two videos. If it's too, if it's too much, I'm noticing that some lectures are getting really long. Um, they're getting to be about like two or three gig of video and that may be too much. Okay, so 7.04 is describing things. Objects. All right. This is going slow. Um, so there's going to be a lot of vocab. I will include a slideshow of all the vocab. So we'll go through um, quite a bit of it in this, uh, in this lecture, but I don't want it to take too long because you can do that separately. Um, as I say, there's a lot. There's two slides of vocab and then a slide of um, sentences applying that vocab and, and we'll we'll get to that in order okay so to start out with um, these pairs go together so we have um, the two sort of on the top and the two on the bottom two on the top and the two on the bottom um, difference so the woman with the stripes has pretty natural looking makeup right so it's real or true, real. Um, as much as the purple wig <laughs> might be uh, beautiful, it's still not real. Same thing with the makeup in that picture. It's very um, enhanced, right? Um, so it's fake. So you just brush your nose a couple times, fake. This is also the sign for mouse. I don't know why the two of them are the same, but they are, uh, deal with it, I don't know. <laughs> uh, so real, looks natural, looks like real, looks like real, looks like fake, right? So this kind of button down, so you have the buttons, boom, 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 collar, so you just draw the collar, right? Um, short sleeve, long sleeve. Um, you'll see this for like top or blouse. You'll also see this for shirt. Just grab a little bit of the material on uh, your pecs, I guess. So uh, sometimes you'll also see like collar, the collar goes down or the, the neckline goes like this, okay? I see t-shirt, you don't want to do bathroom shirt, t-shirt or shirt with a collar, short sleeve, okay. Um, and you can add the color too, right? So shirt blue. It's better to do it in that order than to do blue shirt because it's just clearer and this is way too close, okay. Um, Uh, now, same basic idea of shirt or blouse, but here there's like ruffles, right? Ruffles. Same thing with the collar, buttons, and then short sleeve, right? big poofy shoulders. And you could even do, you could have a belt. Right. <laughs> it's Link. I've seen this for sweater as in like a new layer to stay warm. Uh, collar, you could do pullover too. So like you've put it on and you pull it down, so pullover. Um, long sleeve. Jacket, so just put on a jacket. Sometimes you'll see it with a Y. I don't know what that variation comes from, but it may come from like jacket, but you'll see both this or uh, this. Leather. Um, like maybe this came from the 1950s where the gangs would wear leather jackets, but, um, leather. Um, and the same kind of a jacket, you can have a zipper, collar, pockets, right? Put, just put something in the pockets, long sleeve. Um, it's kind of like a collar. 
collar uh, buttons. Okay. So most of the time, as you notice, we're just sort of drawing what the shape is. Um, this is like puffy, like the down, a down jacket or a down vest. A vest tends to be like this because there are no sleeves, right? So it's just like on either side. Um, you could do uh, whether it's buttons or a zipper, pockets maybe, or pockets. So neckline, just draw where it is. I mean, you. I would recommend not doing it with the index finger because it looks like so. So use like the B or um, you can do this too. And you know, if it continues down, boom, 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 with buttons, or if it just ends. This one's a little different. Um, or these two are a little different. If it's like spaghetti straps, you can do straps. Like that's how thick they are. Could be big, thick ones. Boom. Could be very thin ones, like spaghetti straps. Um, right. Or turtleneck. I've also seen turtleneck if it's like folded over. Um, but this is that's usually good enough. Looks a little bit like the sign for giraffe but it just stops. Um, sleeve length, just show where. You can go down, but oftentimes. Hey, it's Dr. Star. Other details, buttons, ruffles, ruffle collar. Uh, not into patterns yet. So here it's a little hard to see, but this is a bow. So it's kind of like tied and it's a bow. So you tie it and then the, the little tabs come out. Um, I think this one is just like pockets. Um, snaps also, we tend to do this. It's, it's like, no, 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 no. So snap, 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 snap. Uh, double breasted with a belt, and you could just tie. If it's a clasp belt, you'll do this. If it's just a tie, you can do that. Hood, hood, and it could have, we finger spell uh, fur, F-U-R, F-F-U-R. Uh, uh, hood, hood. So you can do a hoodie like that. Uh, and as it, like this chapter just goes through a whole bunch of different stuff. So I'll recommend go back through and practice it and then maybe go through your pictures and try to describe the clothes that are on your Facebook shots. Dogs are restless. Um, th there's a sequence to, to describing. We, it's kind of similar to what we do in, in English, but I want to specifically point out the fact that we tend to start with the most general comment and work our way to the most specific. You don't want to start from the specific and work your way out. That can be more confusing. So for example, number one, you've got a blue sweater, long sleeve, and you could do collar and maybe yellow stripe, okay? Just as a general thing. So the first thing is you give the general, uh, what is the item and a color, if it's a blue sweater. Then describe the neckline sleeve length. Now we've got the shape of the thing and then any patterns. So if there are stripes, if there's plaid and plaid is the number four across and down or down and across. Um, so then add any colors and then any other details. If there's something that ties, if there's something that ties, if there's a belt, um, if there's a hood. So um, we could go through and go through each of these, um, but that's going to take a lot, and it's in the vocab slide. Uh, one of the things I want to point out is that stripes, you can do small stripes. You can do big stripes. Right? So we're just going to show the difference. You can do multiple, really thin ones, or you can do um, vest. 
if something's written across the chest, you could, you know, shirt, then just show it. The one before we saw California, right? Um, polka dots. And you can do if they're really tiny or if they're or plaid. Mm -hmm. You can do the length. Sometimes it's hard to go down to here or if it's just a jacket. Um, I've seen this sign for purse or like bag. And then you'd want to show the shape. So the first thing is like purse or bag. Um, if you want pink, red, then how big is it? You know, give it, give an idea of it. Is it round? What's the shape? Sort of draw it in the air with your hands and then show what the, the handle is or the strap. Um, then any other details, like how does it open? Um, actually before that do patterns. So what it looks like and then how it functions. So first, what it is and a color, base color usually, then describe the size of it and the shape and the handle. Then details like pattern, uh, pictures on it, words on it, whatever, if it sparkles, then how does it function? So like if you're describing a backpack, you would describe the cup, you saw backpack, right? It comes from the old hiking thing where you know, it would come over the top, so backpack. Yeah, because this looks like jacket. So backpack, give the, sh uh, so I have a blue backpack, about this big. Um, has a red um, stripe around it like this. And now I would just say opens, laptop, big books. Shoes, whatever, and have a separate section shoe for phone or uh, charger zip. Right. And you can describe, you already say it's a backpack, so we know it's got the two stripes or two straps. Uh, and we could go through each of the different ones. The, the videos are in there. So um, I did not put GIFs in this one because it was really slowing down the video or the PowerPoint. Um, so I decided to wait uh, and just do them separately. Um, but there is video reviews. So glasses. So we've got the glasses. I keep hitting this thing. Um, you can see what color they are. Usually we're talking about the frames. Um, and then the size and the shape. If they're really thick, you can blink. Um, and then any details of like the shape, you, know, you can give specific shape if they're like cat eye. So once we've gotten um, some practice with describing what objects look like, now we're gonna talk about how did you end up getting, need a haircut. Um, how did you get the item? So in situation one, it was given to me or it was passed down through my family, inherited. So the sign for give, but it goes from the past, give, 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 and it was given to me and I did bond it. So I'm going to give it to my kids. <laughs> um, and here's a basic conversation we would practice in class. Um, What's the item look like? Um, you know what? I want to do duplicate. I want to get rid of the ugly cowboy shirt and hide. Oh. Hide that one. Okay. So we're going to do a list of different possibilities for how you got the item. So I can move this up here. Okay. 
put that first. So how did you get the item? So the first one, it was passed on down. Pass, 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 pass. And I got it. Um, it was a gift. We usually use this for a gift or as in like, here's a present as opposed to give someone something. So um, that's probably the easiest way I can explain it. So give. So it was given to me. It was given to me. And then you can explain birthday, uh, graduation, whatever, gift. <gasps> Valentine's Day gift. Whoa. Um, going on a trip. Go trip. Remember for ASL1, we did travel. Bought. So if you bought it to go on a trip or on vacation, oh, bought it. So you want to think about when, when did you get it? So I was planning on a trip I bought for the travel or on or went traveling. Oh, I bought it there, right? Um, and I would recommend doing this for Gabe. He didn't want, gave it to me. My So what I said was one time at Christmas, my cousin, his mom gave him a pink sweater with thin gray stripes. And he freaked out and was like, I don't wear pink. And I'm like, hell, hell, give it to me. I'll wear it. I don't care. So um, the bum didn't want, gave it to me, to whoever it is. Um, Secondhand store, store or garage sale, garage. So the car goes in under the roof, garage sale or secondhand store. Found, bought, bought. So found, bought. <laughs> cool. Um, now, two ways of signing this. You can take it, right? Take it like you're at your friend's house. Uh, let's be more specific. You're at your sweetheart's place and they have clothing that you like. I've lost so many pieces of clothing to girlfriends. Uh, so, uh, and they took it. Now, of course, if you're still in love with them, they took it. If years later you've broken up, they stole it stole, uh, stole, or had I stole. Um, I mean, I suppose you could have found it in the store and stolen it as well. Um, don't recommend that. So then again, we go through, um, ask, oh, where'd you get that? Oh, tell the story. Um, normally what we do is we, in class, have someone describe something and then show it. Um, and this is a way of practicing what it is. We haven't gotten to, oh, oh, we talked, we did some fingerspelling of the kinds of materials, I believe. Let me double check. Yeah, in the last one where we talked about wood, silk, all the fingerspelling, right? So we can add in that. What is it made of? What's the cloth? Cotton, things like that, okay? So we can add that into the mix of what it's made of. All right, got to get back. I got to get back. Oh, isn't that? Ugh. Okay. So once more, we've got um, more finger spelling. Just take your time, work your way through the, the slideshow of this. Um, and we went through all of the different ways. Describe, the sign for describe is this. Can you describe, can you? made, made, if you kind of tap, 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 that means made. Um, it comes from work, an old sign for work, made. 
Don't do this. If you just rub it, it means make out. Very different meaning to whatever question you're asking. Look like, look like, look like. So circle your face for looks, look like, similar. And there's follow-up materials, mini dialogues. Now these, the setup is a little bit weird on these um, because di they had different questions and or different numbers of questions and different lengths of answers, but I wanted to keep the videos as big as possible. So I kind of shifted them around, um, but you can watch the dialogue and there's the answers to the questions and So that is 7.04. So again, I, I didn't go through all of the vocabulary. This would be an hour long. Um, so look at the slideshow and look at the DVD with the, the vocab inside. All right. Um, I will, uh, you know, I'll try to incorporate after this. Uh, I'll incorporate some of the vocab um, review materials in here. So if it's not in there when you first look at this, I will get in there in a, in a day or so. Cool. That's 7.4.